in the uh, surround view tent blind. Last episode. Um, I had those, I was, can't really see it from here, but back over this way across the open area here. I was in the uh, blind and uh, those axis deer came in right out over here. So if they do the same thing they did a couple of weeks ago, I will have about a 30 to 35 yard shot, except that buck was on this side of him, so he'll probably be 20 yards maybe. Yeah, probably 20 yards. So, but they had a chance of them doing the same thing. Man, these axis deer are hard. Very hard to, to try to uh, stick an arrow in them. Very difficult. And when you do stick an arrow in them, man, they're really hard to, to recover. They just, uh, their vitals are real tight in their chest, up in their chest, so you gotta shoot them forward quite a bit. And uh, I always shoot them like I shoot whitetail, and they end up running off and never finding them. But that happened to my last doe that I shot a couple of episodes ago. I think two or maybe three episodes ago, but shot her right in what you would think is right in the crease where you think it's a sweet spot. And I never found her. No blood anywhere. It's crazy. <laughs> so we're still at it. But anyways, welcome to Indian Creek Bow Hunting Journal. Stay tuned for some great bow hunting action. Hopefully we get something down tonight. Father, teach me to trust when your thinking is unknowable, when I lack the capacity to understand. For you have proven your trustworthiness and your love beyond measure. Your son sent to the cross for my sin. What a treasure. best time I'm finding to hunt axis deer is in the springtime shortly after February they seem to herd up uh, a whole lot better so and, and this this uh, goes all the way through the summer and that's probably the main portion of their breeding season they about 50% from what I've read of the axis deer breed during that time of course they do breed all year round and have hard horn and uh, velvet all year round uh, plus uh, antlerless deer as well so I decided I would uh, stop uh, doing the feeders or hunting at the feeders because I've been having difficulty being there when they show up. They tend to know I'm on the property. So I moved out or ventured out away from the feeders to see what would happen. So I went and sat in the surround view blind at about uh, 5, 5.30 p.m. And uh, just as the sun was about probably just about setting, uh, I heard some axis de deer barking eventually made their way around and uh, came right in the perfect spot.
well i'm not sure about the shot guys i know where it hit you can tell on the on the replay here that it hits a little bit high about towards the back rib but the deer turns away pretty sharp so uh, maybe liver uh, maybe a couple of lungs if it got enough six to eight inches of penetration so uh, we'll see in the morning i'm going to hopefully shoot some pigs tonight as well maybe an axis deer tonight we'll see what happens so uh, stay tuned we'll be out there looking for this deer uh, in the morning didn't have any piggies come at night, but guess what? Sitting in the, in the cabin there doing some work, and these piggies came along, so it's uh, game time. If I was thinking quick on my feet, I could have got another shot pretty fast, but I was trying to look and see where that pig was running. So I found them back behind the cabin. They were about 57 yards, so I set the camera up and was trying to get a shot through this opening, but they never stopped. Then I repositioned myself a little closer and uh, range that back bush the big one in the back at about 47 yards and was trying to get uh, set up there and uh, this last pig coming through I tried to stop him but uh, didn't quite work out they gone they're off my property now no tracking job on this piggy. He's right here. We're going to do a quick recovery and get back up there. Because I may have some axis deer come in this morning. That is a big old sow. <laughs> One less pig to be uh, messing up the property. And I've, that's uh, for this trip that makes. Uh, Two small sows, this sow, and one um, boar, young boar. So, um, anyway, <laughs> I gotta go look for that axis deer this morning, so hopefully I'm gonna find it too. So, I have to wait a while to take care of this one. But anyway, let's go get back uh, in the cabin and watch and see something else may come in. So, let's go. Okay to rain which is a real bummer because uh, that means we're not going to have um, a blood trail but it just started and it doesn't look like it's going to rain hard so hopefully I can find some blood down here let's go see if we can find that pig, that uh, axis deer I shot last night I'm not finding any blood so looks like this is going to be a grid search and it just started raining, so I would be finding blood if there was any blood. I have grid searched a, almost three miles out there for this crazy deer. Never did find it. Um, I'm wondering about this shot because I, I've shot two pigs uh, with the bow on this trip. Both those pigs were pass-throughs. And it seems like the last two axis deer I've shot, they've been quartering away just like that no penetration hardly at all i'm wondering if these axis deer are all pregnant about this time 
but uh, who knows um, but anyways we're gonna stay after it but uh, thank you for watching Indian Creek bow hunting journal this is a bow hunting radnick be sure to subscribe give us a thumbs up and we will get and tick the reminder bell there and we will give you updates on all of uh, the, the new videos that are coming out